anime fans, One Piece fans, what's good? Now, at first, I wasn't even going to do this video, you know what I'm saying? Because I was going to try to catch all the way up because I'm so cold. Hold on a second. All right, and now we back. Yep. Y'all see it? Go ahead. If you need a laugh, go ahead. Get it out the way now. And now let's go ahead and start this video. All right, so like I was saying in the beginning, right? I wasn't even going to do this video at first, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I was like, let me just catch all the way up because I'm tired of y'all niggas spoiling shit for me. Like, why do I know about this nigga Kaido's devil fruit already? Bruh, how do I know he beat this nigga Luke? Well, I guess I'd be spoiling it for y'all, too, at that point, huh? Hey, maybe we'll be even, motherfuckers. Spoiler alert! Oh, it's kind of late now, ain't it? That's what the fuck... Like, y'all understand. Niggas be, like, dead-ass DMing me, and they'll be like, yo, Daquan. And then it'll be, like, five things down, and they'll be like, this nigga died. Like, what the fuck, bro? But look, we got a lot of catching up to do, because my last video was around Annie's Lobby, and, like, bro... We done had so much action since then. Dog, we got the Saba Odi arc. Impel down, Marine Ford, Fishman Island. Oh, fuck. What's that? Oh, Fag Hazard. I don't know what the fuck that. That arc sucked, nigga. And then the best one out of all of them. Dress Rosa. Oh, dog. Oh, my. Dog, Dress Rosa is the reason why I even did this video. This nigga, Doflamingo, was a villain villain. Bruh, this was the best villain I've seen in, like, so many fucking anime. Dog, out of every villain that we've seen in One Piece, he is like the real live villain, bro. This nigga wants to destroy the whole fucking world. But before we get into Dress Rosa, let's go ahead and just backtrack for a second. Let's go back to um the Saba Odi arc. Look, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, bro. I felt bad because, like, y'all remember my first video and I was complaining, talking about I want to see this nigga Luffy take L's. And then, bro, I ain't even gonna lie, bro. That shit broke me watching my man get down on the floor. He cried shit because he knew he can't do nothing with his crew disappearing and shit. I did the same shit though, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I don't think a lot of people take in all the emotion-filled moments in anime, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, that was one of the most emotional moments because Luffy is watching his crew die in front of him. Or at least that's what he thinks. And he can't do anything about it. Like, bro, do you know how much that shit would hurt you? You just have to watch. There's literally nothing. Nigga, I be crying. I won't cry right now, nigga. But I'm too tough for that. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Plus, I'm gonna be the king of the pirates anyways. They already see. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see it, nigga. Basically, a nigga like me can't be seen crying in public anymore. You know what I'm saying? Cause like, nigga, I ain't, I ain't eat no bitch, bitch fruit. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I ate the gum gum fruit. Fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, look. After that emotion filled moment in Saba Odi, then we go to Amazon titties, nigga. It was titties everywhere. This whole arc, dog. Soon as my nigga Luffy step on the island, ain't nothing but titties. Everywhere, nigga. They should have had Sanji or Brooke in this arc. Like, what the fuck, yo? They gonna send my man Sanji over to the land of transsexuals, nigga. Why, why are you gonna play my man Sanji? You know damn well this nigga a pervert. So he's still looking at the uh, the niggas that like dress like girls. Because I can't say they girls. They niggas. Like, I'm, I don't know, man. It's 2018. I don't know what the fuck to call him. But anyways, bro, this nigga Luffy is over there. He gets locked up. And he got a lot, bro. He had a line. I'm talking about, bro. The whole town is lining up to pull this nigga's dick. I am not lying, bro. And everybody who watches One Piece can vouch for me. Y'all know damn well I'm not lying. Sanji would have been in fucking heaven, nigga. Now, look. I know a lot of main characters in anime act clueless. You know what I'm saying? But, like... In this instance, bro, a Luffy, Oda, like, come on, nigga, bro, how you got a whole town full of women lined up trying to play tug of war with your dick and your balls, and you don't know what's going on? Dog, you mean to tell me you couldn't have mastered the armament hockey right then and there on the spot? Nigga, as soon as they would have touched my shit, I'd have like, armament hardening, immediately. And then he got Boa Hancock trying to throw him the pussy, but then he over there act like he don't know what you're trying to do. Like, nigga, at this point... I'm starting to think this nigga Luffy is the devil fruit. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, nigga. You got to start wanting to fuck something. But anyways, after all the titties and shit, we go to Impel Down. And, like, I ain't even going to lie, bro. Like, this whole arc made me gain a new respect for gay people. Like, I ain't even going to lie. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why I took an animated motherfucker to make me gain that. But, like, dog, I'm not even going to lie. Like, this nigga Bon Clay is a real ass nigga. I ain't even going to lie to y'all, bro. My man Bon Clay, he motivated me to come out. And tell y'all straight up, I'm broke. You know what I'm saying? Look, I know y'all was expecting me to probably say I'm gay or something, nigga. Nah, but I'm broke. If y'all want to donate, like, I think it's like a donate button on YouTube now. I don't even know how to use that joint, but I'm pretty sure y'all do. So go ahead and use that for me real quick. You know what I'm saying? But nah, dog, him and Ivankov. Nah, not even just them. All of them gay niggas in the little club that they was in. You know what I'm saying?
what I'm saying? All of them niggas was real, bro. They all rolled for my man Luffy. No homo. So after Luffy breaks out of Impel down, mm -hmm. y'all already know that's when shit got real. That's when we go to Marine Ford. Don't cry, bro. Hold on. Hold on a second, y'all. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, so then we go to <clears throat> shit. <clears throat> Read forward, bro. I don't know why I couldn't say that shit without crying, bro. Like for real, man. But like, Marine Ford, dog. Marine Ford was the realest arc that they had in One Piece, bro. Like this was the most emotional arc ever. Like, bro, how you gonna let two niggas? Y'all already know what happened, right? You know what I'm saying? So I, I can say it. Do I have to say, like, spoiler alert? I, I'm saying I'm talking to myself. I, I forgot that I'm fucking talking to that camera. How y'all gonna have us grow to love this nigga Ace and then kill him off? Like, bruh, and the shit that blew me is that everybody keeps saying, oh, it was Ace's pride that got in the way. That's what got him killed. No, the fuck it wasn't. This bitch-ass nigga Luffy was trying to grab a Viva card. Ace just trying to protect him. Luffy, why are you trying to save a card that shows you if a nigga's alive when a nigga's literally about to die right in front of you? How ass backwards are you? Nigga, save Ace and then save his fucking card. Nigga, you can make plenty more of them bitches. And even if you can't, nigga, I'm more concerned about the nigga being alive than a fucking piece of paper. Like, my nigga, there's literally a whole war going on in front of you. Like, niggas are dying left and right. How do you even find time to even notice that you lost a piece of paper? But anyways, look, man, one thing we got to talk about when we talk about Marine Ford is my nigga Whitebeard, dog. This nigga was the realest nigga in One Piece. This is what I want everybody in the comment section to do. Name one nigga that's realer than Whitebeard. Name him, bro. Niggas try to say Shanks. How? He ain't fought nobody. He stopped the war. That's it. Nigga ain't fight nobody, bro. Well, he fought Kaido for it. You know what I'm saying? For Whitebeard and shit. But like, yo, I guess yeah, Shanks a real nigga. But like, dog, niggas try to say other people like Rayleigh. Rayleigh a real ass nigga. He talked like. Okay, look, but Whitebeard's still a real ass nigga. Whitebeard is my dad, too. Y'all should have seen how happy I was when he showed up at Marine Ford, bro. When all them other ships showed up, but then when my nigga Whitebeard showed up from under the sea, I ain't gonna front nigga, I was crying and shit. Like always, y'all already know, bro. Like, nigga, any, any nigga who watch anime and really enjoys it like I do and get as hype as I do is gonna cry when shit like that happens. Like, look, I already know anime is not made to please the fans because if it did, then a lot of anime would probably be really fucking short. But... During the Marine Ford arc when Whitebeard, you know what I'm saying, had them tidal waves coming in, and then Aokiji fucking froze it. Why ain't this nigga just break that shit immediately? Like, this nigga took so long to fucking break them bitches. Nigga, as soon as he would have frozen them, I'd be like, psych, fuck out of here, nigga. I understand them battling on the ice, but like, yo, I would have broke all of that shit over all of them Marines. Nigga, fuck every one of them niggas, bruh. Definitely Aokiji. No, no, Aokiji, he a cool nigga. Aka Inu, fuck that nigga. Kaka Inu, that nigga's a bitch. You know what I'm saying? And um, your man Kizaru, like... He kind of laid back, but he's still a bitch too. But on the low, even this nigga Garp is a bitch. Bruh, how you gonna stop my man Marco from saving this nigga Ace, dog? You bitch ass nigga. You over there crying shit, you somebody shoot this nigga. You do it then, you bitch ass. Well, I mean, you did do it, but you still a bitch ass nigga. You shouldn't even done nothing, bruh. You know you didn't want Ace to die. If you didn't want the nigga to die, then, like, if you ain't gonna help them, nigga, just move the fuck out the way, nigga. Close your eyes like you was just doing. And then when Ace does get killed, you over there talking about, yeah, Sengoku, you better hold me back, girls. I'm gonna kill that damn. Like, you ain't gonna kill that nigga. You ain't gonna do shit. Bruh, everybody knows any nigga that always says, yo, you better hold me back. You ain't gonna do a goddamn thing, bruh. You could easily got past that nigga saying Hoku. But anyways, I ain't gonna keep talking about this nigga Garp, you know what I'm saying? Because this thing got on my nerves the whole entire Marine Ford, you know what I'm saying? But like, bro, my man, Whitebeard, dog, he died the realest death of any nigga, and that would never be me, because I ain't gonna lie, nigga, there's plenty of times I'll run. I don't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying, nigga? I ain't got powers and shit, even if I did, if they don't match up to yours, I'm gone. Dog, my nigga took all of that damage, died standing, and without one single scratch on this nigga's back his entire life. Lord knows the nigga ain't never got no pussy. But regardless, he was still the realest nigga ever in One Piece. And one thing I wish we could have saw while he was alive was him versus Kaido. You know what I'm saying? I think Oda, I think he probably gonna give us that maybe one day in the future. You know what I'm saying? Something that happened in the past when both of them was in their prime. Even though Kaido, like, this nigga's just never gonna die and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even know if this nigga, do you fall out of your prime if you're immortal? But anyways, look, after that, we got the Fishman Island arc. And, like, this one, it, it was good. I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? Because after that, we had Punk Assert, you know what I'm saying? And that was ass, like y'all clearly could tell, you know what I'm saying? But like, Fishman Island arc was straight because, like, this nigga, I felt like Arlong had way more resolve than, um, old boy, um, Hody, you know what I'm saying? Like, he had way more resolve than Hody. Like, oh, that sound weird as shit, Hody. Is this, 
Hordy. Ain't the nigga named Hordy? Hordy Jones. I'm tripping. Fuck that nigga. That nigga's a hoe. Hody. Like, I knew he was a hoe-ass nigga when we saw him, but, like, he really proved that he was a real live bitch-ass nigga when he blocked Zoro's move with his own man, his own people, bruh. Now, the reason why I did like this arc is because they got to show off a few of the new techniques that they learned during the time skip. You know what I'm saying? Like, Zoro with all his new moves. This nigga was fighting underwater. How you fighting a fish man underwater? And almost beat this nigga, bruh. He was gonna win. Then we got my man Michael Jackson over here. Moon was my nigga Sanji over here moonwalking and shit. Then we got this nigga Luffy using Conqueror's Hockey to knock out 50,000 niggas, bruh. Yes, you heard that correctly. 50,000 niggas. And the reason why I'm saying niggas is because during the whole Fishman Island arc, you learn that the Fishmen are black people. Dog, my nigga Martin Luther Jimbe was always preaching about equality to these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Trying to be equal with the humans, but still at the same time, like, yo, fuck them niggas, bruh. Them niggas don't want to beat me. I'll beat the shit out of them niggas. And then you got my man Arlong X over here that's like, yo, fuck that. I don't even want to be with them niggas. Let's just kill all of them. Fuck them. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Look, I, I like, I sided with Arlong for like most of the whole Fishman Island arc. Besides like when he wanted to kill the kid. You know what I'm saying? That's when I felt like he was going way too far. Like, bro, you shouldn't have treated that little kid any type of way because I was the nicest little girl ever. Brother. She was so cute. I was like, oh, look at the Dog, I would have treated her so nice, but I would have beat the shit out of every single one of them bitch men, you know what I'm saying, that would have put their hands on her, dog, I'm trying to tell you, this little girl was so nice to these niggas, and then, like, she was smiling just to hide the tears all the time, but then, like, even when niggas would hit her and shit like that, she would act like, you know, nothing happened to her, I was like, dog, why the fuck y'all hitting that little girl, hit me, nigga, I'm right here, bro, like, bro, I be taking anime so serious that I be, like, dead ass feeling like, they can like hear me through the screen and shit, like, I be expecting, like, as soon as I yell, one of them niggas gonna turn, I'm like, yo, who the fuck you talking to, but anyways, look, it's been a long journey. And now we address Rosa. Yeah, you're right, because I ain't going to talk about Punk Hazard. That shit was ass. Dog, my man Doflamingo was the most villainous villain that we have ever seen in One Piece. Bruh, Law was about to kill this nigga. And this nigga was like, hey, yo, Law, you remember your man, Coruscant? I had fun killing that nigga. Fuck that nigga, bro. I'm so happy that nigga's dead. Fuck you and that nigga, bro. Like, dog, I'm not lying, bro. He was about to die. And the first thing he does is start dissing his own dead brother that he fucking killed. Bro, the Japanese voice actor for Doflamingo deserves a fucking Nobel Peace Prize, dog, on this nigga's voice. He killed that shit. Bro, y'all remember when he was talking to nigga Bellamy? He was like, Bellamy. Like, nigga, I know they ain't gonna be able to say that shit in, like, English. You know what I'm saying? Niggas gonna be like, yo, Bellamy. Nah, nigga. Say it just like, nigga, Bellamy. You know what I'm saying? You bitch ass nigga, Bellamy. But fuck you, nigga. And while we on the topic of this nigga Bellamy, Fuck that nigga Bellamy, bro. This nigga's a dumbass nigga. Dog, don't Flamingo straight up said, you ain't even worthy to live, nigga. Like, dead ass, bro. I'm just about to kill you. But fuck it, bro. If you want to be free, go ahead and be free. Let the nigga be free. And what does this nigga try to do? He tries to fight the nigga who tried to save him because of his own dumbass morals. And this nigga's morals was, I can't betray Dope Flamingo. The same nigga who literally just said, I'm about to kill you. You fucking idiot. Bruh, Dope Flamingo kept telling this nigga over and over, your life is worthless, nigga. Like, you dead ass a bitch. You lost every single fight that I told you to do. Like, nigga, I told you to kill the nigga Stride. You ain't do it. I told you to fucking win the competition. Nigga, you lost the first round. Fuck you mean. One thing I can say about Dope Flamingo is that I felt this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, I felt this nigga on a spiritual level. Because, like, coming from, like, a poor home, nigga, I would be blown as shit if my parents were rich and then they subjected me. To a life of poverty, like, fuck that nigga. I'd have been right behind that nigga back too, like, yo. Now, he did have some fucked up ways, you know what I'm saying? Like, wanting slaves and shit, but that's like normal celestial dragon type shit, you know what I'm saying? Which everybody fucking hates celestial dragons. But, like, I felt this nigga when he offed his dad, you know what I'm saying? Now, his brother, on the other hand, he ain't deserve to die, you know what I'm saying? That was pretty fucked up. Like, I don't think that he deserved that, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, he was trying to just do nothing but good. He just didn't want Dope Flamingo to destroy the fucking world like he wanted, and he wanted law. To stay alive. Like, bro, Law was a little kid that was fucked up in the head because of all the shit that happened. He was just trying to help. But in the end, his ruthlessness made me like him a whole lot more. Like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. The fact that you killed your fucking dad and your brother with no hesitation and with no remorse whatsoever. Like, he was actually happy that he did it. But uh, but look, before we get ahead of ourselves, I want to just address something real quick. I want to talk about this, um, this Awakened Devil Fruit Power shit, um... Yeah, I've only seen uh, Doflamingo so far, but I know Katakuri has it too. But, like, I've only seen Doflamingo, but, like, bruh, just because you awaken a power, like, my nigga, it's string. You know what I'm saying? Like, Zoro talking about he can cut through anything. My nigga, you, why don't you cut through Law's fucking sea prism stone cuffs then, nigga? Like, you're landing, like, nigga, you, you, there's nothing I can't cut. Nigga, it's fucking string, nigga. It's a fucking birdcage and nothing but string, nigga. Why don't you fucking cut it? Like, bro, I can't wait till this nigga Luffy gets his devil fruit power awakened, you know what I'm saying? Like, what is this thing gonna be able to do? Fucking 
touching and turning the dildos and shit. Like, bro, how does nigga dope mango touching and turning the string? Like, that don't even make no sense. Like, I know we try not to make sense of shit that happens in anime because it never will. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, the nigga Luffy's made of rubber. That makes no sense whatsoever. But I'm just saying. But anyways, man, I'm done with Dress Rosa. I'm on Zo right now. I'm on episode, I think, like 770. Bro, I can't believe I made it this far. Like, nigga, y'all remember just three months ago, I was like on episode 20 and saying, ain't no way in hell I'm finna watch 800 something episodes. Now I'm about to catch up. Y'all understand how happy this makes me, bro. Like, this really makes me feel like I accomplished something. You know what I'm saying? And I know, like, watching almost 800 episodes or something kind of means that you ain't got a life. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't really accomplished nothing. But, like, since I do videos on this shit, I feel like, yo, I, I really did accomplish something. I can't thank y'all enough for putting me on to One Piece, you know what I'm saying? Not only just One Piece, all the shows that y'all are putting me on to that I have to look forward to. I have all the shows that y'all have suggested to me to look forward to. And what y'all have to look forward to is all the videos that I have to come from watching all of these shows. To come from watching all of these shows. See what I said about porn references in my videos? I knew in the beginning I was different Niggas told me slow down, I wouldn't listen Put my foot on the gas and now I get it I look back for my niggas and they was missing I double back and 